Hello and welcome to The Mere Mortals, and today we are looking at the top 10 worst horror movies of all time. At number 10 we have Pinocchio's Revenge, made in 1996. Defense attorney Jennifer Garrick acquires a Pinocchio puppet from a condemned serial killer. What the hell have we got here, huh? It was a bizarre piece of evidence in the trial of an accused child killer. How could the man who made this have murdered his only child? Evil comes in all shapes and sizes. His lawyer believed he was innocent, but she couldn't stop his execution. Sorry, she spotted it before I could get it wrapped. He's always been having these horrible, violent nightmares lately. <laughs> Pinocchio can't become a real boy if you keep doing bad things. <sighs> what are you doing with this, sweetheart? She's a very disturbed little girl. I know what evil looks like. I see it in the eyes of my clients. And I'm telling you, I don't see it in my daughter. You have the powers. Pinocchio can't hurt me. Give me life. What do I have to do? Cut my strings. At number 10 we have Alice in Murderland, made in 2010. Alice Lewis is turning 21. Her sorority girlfriends want to cheer her up and decide to hold a birthday party with an Alice in Wonderland theme. Some guests will be invited. I want you to come to the party on Saturday. But I thought it was females only. Some guests will not. I would like you to leave right now. I'd like to see you make me leave. You have a very important date. Off with their heads with murder. At number 8 we have Zombie Nation made in 2004. A psycho cop with a weakness for killing his female arrests gets what's coming to him when a pack of zombie women rise from their graves in order to get proper revenge. He pulls these women over for no reason. Then he handcuffs them and takes them someplace. And they disappear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Is it safe? That's what I'm afraid of. At number 7 we have Mr. Jingles 2006. An innocent man is in prison for a crime he did not commit. He suffered for years in prison and finally escaped to take his revenge on the guilty and their families. <laughs> Mr. Jingles, Mr. Jingles, killer clown, killer clown, he's coming for the children, coming for the children, his X wings down, X wings down. Mr. Jingles, Mr. Jingles, killer clown, killer clown, he's coming for the children. Coping for the children, his X wings down, X wings down. <laughs> At number six, we have Splatter University. First, you were frightened by the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Then you were terrorized by Halloween, and now. Prepare to be pulverized, traumatized, and hospitalized by <laughs> Splatter U. A patient escapes from a mental hospital, killing one of his keepers and a university professor. Next semester, the light professor's replacement and a new group of students have to deal with a new batch of killings. <laughs> 
Hey guys, let's party! Splatter University. Where the school colors are blood red, and not only classes are cut. Han? If you think you're funny, you're not! At Splatter U, everyone parties and has a ball. <laughs> At Splatter U, it's not whether you pass or fail, but whether you live. <laughs> or die. And when you gotta go, you gotta go. <gasps> yes, at Splatter U, the only requirement is survival. Splatter U, it's the only education you'll ever need. Enroll now at a theater near you and earn a higher degree in blood-dripping terror. <laughs> Splatter U. At number five, we have Camp Blood 2, made in 2000. Smarmy opportunist filmmaker Worthy Milligan convinces traumatised soul survivor Trisha to work as a technical advisor on a film he's making about the horrific events that occurred at Camp Blood. Oh my god, do that again. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. You are so sexy. Oh my god, you are killing me. You are killing me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no, no! No, stop! Stop! Don't! Camp Blood 2. This time, he's not clowning around. At number 4 we have... Bikini Bloodbath Car Wash. A group of college girls decide to raise money by donning bikinis for a car wash. But a maniac chef is prowling about to get a cut of the action. It's Gil, he's dead! Somebody killed him to death until he died! The chef! Chef Death! What's up, ladies? For this party, you need some sausage. Y'all coming to the party tonight? Tour up! Nice erection, Todd. Thanks, you too. Oh my God. Getting fat. Do you need to lose weight? You're fat. You're fat. Yes, we look tired! Now remember, tits, asses, and elbows. Let's go! At number three, we have Motorhome Massacre. Seven young friends climb aboard a vintage RV, headed for a fun-filled weekend in the woods, when they encounter a night vision goggled, machete-wielding psychopath. Ooh. Roger, I really don't think this is a good idea. Parents are gone for six weeks, man. Y'all going to Black Creek, aren't you? There was some trouble up there last night. What kind of trouble? Dead trouble. Who's out there? And at number two, we have Camp Blood, made in 2000. This is the prequel to Camp Blood 2. You don't listen too good, do you, boy? You and your friends don't want to go to Camp Blood. They didn't heed the warning. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, guys, this is awesome. We don't have a guide. It's just a matter of time before he kills us all one by one. Oh, Jesus. The clown isn't real. It's just a story that some of us locals made up to scare the tourists away. He's real, I'm telling you. He killed my friends and now he's going to kill me and he's going to kill you. Warning. Due to the violent nature of this program, no one under 17 will be permitted to wear 3D glasses. If you have a taste for terror, camp out at Camp Blood. And at number one. The moment we've all been waiting for. We have Birdemic. A platoon of eagles and vultures attack the residents of a small town. Many people die. A young software salesman on his way to achieving his Silicon Valley dream. Think about opening up a green tech company. Really? It is not known what caused the flying menace to attack. Two people managed to fight back, but will they survive? The Birdemic. I was wondering if we can keep in contact. Sure. How big was the sale? One million dollars. In other news today, the population of polar bears is declining rapidly. Hi, my name is Jerry Owens. I'm from Solar Power Accessories. This morning, flocks of seagulls and crows were found dead in downtown San Jose and along Highway 101. Hey, I thought I told you to stand back. These birds are contaminated. something like that. Why, why would they just attack? 